Hey, hey, this is Toxic Rain Scandal. Got another toxic topic for you guys. The question is, is Pony Storm the greatest women superstar? Is she underrated or overrated? That's the question we'll ask. As usual, I will break down all her career accomplishments, in ring, finishing moves, and signature moves, and all promo work. We will determine to see if she's underrated or overrated. Like, subscribe as you guys enter the ropes into the ring. With that being said, let's enter Dirty Laundry. Now, Tony Storm, she is a one time NXT UK Women's Champion and a two time and also current AEW Women's World Champion. Other accomplishments is that she won the WWE May Young Classic winner in 2018. Stardom, five star Grand Prix winner, and other thing, and other accomplishments regarding Stardom. Now, she was a face from 2015 to 2020. She was a heel from late 2020 to July 2021. Came a face again in July 2021 to January of this year, 2023. Currently, she's been a heel since February of this year. She's been on a rate heel one. Why she's an AW. Now, her finishers is the Storm Zero, which she'd been doing since 2009. Also, has the Tony Driver, which she's been doing since 18, which is sit out double under the car bomb. And the Storm Zero is a back to Billy Powell Driver. The other moves she do do with Signature and various other ones are the Perfect Storm, Jumping DDT, Tornado DDT, Running with the Cat, German Suplex, Diving, Air Drop with the Blue Sky, Dive. So, Tony Storm is her winning the May Young Classic in 2018. <clears throat> this is also her when she won the NXT Women's Championship. She defeated Rhea Ripley for that championship, by the way. But she had to leave WWE because she didn't agree with where her character was going and she don't like how she was being utilized. But she made the jump to AEW, which currently is today. Not only is Tony the current AEW Women's World Champion, she's the first time to ever win it twice. She's the first two time women's champion. Now she won his championship when she defeated Jamie Hayter at the AEW Double or Nothing 2023 event back in May of this year to make her a two-time champion. Where she is celebrating with her stay with Outcast was Soraya, formerly known as Paige, and Ruby Soho, formerly known as Ruby Riot. This is also her here. Celebrating, talking about it at the media scrum with Tony Khan after the double or nothing event was over. Now, Tony Storm, she's a good heel character. She does, you know, the air raid promos could use a little work. They're not bad, but they could use some work. You know, English is good because I know she's from the UK. Not bad at all. In ring moves are very good. She's very good in the ring. The move. So I like Tony Storm in the ring. The promos are not the best, but they're not the worst either. She still can go as far as being a great one. It's super star, in my opinion. Tony's not bad at all. I like Tony Storm. She's a good, very good superstar, in my opinion. It's the work you use on promos. But the million dollar question is, is she underrated or overrated? The survey says he's underrated. Um, I believe Tony Storm doesn't get enough credit as she do, as she should receive, because her great airing work. Like I said, all you have to do is just do 
promo classes and you know, go over the promo, you know, practice, you have all the tools. You know, I believe WWE underutilized her and didn't see her real talent, which is why she asked for her release in late 2021. They didn't see the talent in her. And I believe she has stayed and been utilized correctly. She will still be in the WWE. And not only that, she will be up there with Rhea Ripley. See how great Rhea Ripley's career has gone to the main roster. They can be the only storm if things were done differently. So I believe she's underrated. She don't get enough credit. Like I said, um, WWE, they, they dropped the ball with Tony. But definitely, definitely have her as the biggest star that she is now AW. And she could have been a bigger star, much bigger star in WWE. Altogether, she could have been a bigger star. If she has stayed a big use right. But you know, that's something they have to learn from that. You guys let me know in the comment section below if you agree, disagree, or you're neutral on Tony Storm the Greatest Web Superstar. As that's all I have to say regarding that. Now at the end of this video, there'll be two random videos popping up of Toxic Rain standard content. Check it out. I do have an underrated overrated series. I talk about other various women superstars. Until then, it is OUT.